Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City, where good guy activism, a.k.a. Dracula Boy, attempts to uh, file a complaint at the local library, but instead just hangs around annoying everybody in sight, and eventually ends up getting trespassed. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. This video is just over one hour long and pretty much filled the brim with him interacting with the staff in such a negative fashion. Uh, it just makes me wonder what kind of person dedicates themselves to being a complete and total asshole. Well, this guy for sure. Five hours later. You said he was going to the first floor, right? Who are you? You. Who are you? I'm a security supervisor. Okay, they what's spoke your name? to you on multiple floors. I'm not going to tell you. You so said you was going to go to the first strangers. floor. You said you was going to go downstairs to the first floor to Why file a yelling? complaint. It's a library. Because you're being in trouble. It's a library. Yeah, but you're threatening, you're, you're making people uncomfortable here. You're making me uncomfortable. Uh, well, you shouldn't be here then. I have a right to be here. All right, so waste your time. So what purpose are you serving here? Why are you yelling? Because I want to know what it's you're a, serving because library. you're recording staff members here. How can I help you? You work here? What can I do for you? Okay, so clearly you act like you work here. What can I do for yeah, you? Yeah, keep talking. You made contact with no, me, no, right? Yeah. Y'all leave the building now. Why would I need to do that? Because we're recording you and we're getting our evidence too. So you can go record all you want. All right? Oh, now I can record all I want? Yeah, you're already doing it. So. Okay. Hey, Davey boy, uh, do you have any idea what a library is? Well, in general terms, it is a repository of these uh, square rectangular things with lots of words on them that people uh, read and form into sentences. Uh, I think they're called books. Uh, you may want to sit down and read one because you may learn something. But then again, I really doubt it because, well, you have proven yourself to be quite ignorant in the ways of getting yourself educated. And that is for damn sure right there. Is there a law being broken? did you say you wanted to file a complaint with the first floor? Yeah. So what's the issue? I'll be there. So what's the issue? Is there, Why are you recording staff members is, in, their, in the is, facility? Is there a time limit that I have? I have to go right now. All right. So you're questioning the question, even though I work here. You didn't even. You don't, won't even identify yourself, sir. I don't even know who you are, sir. What does that mean? Security for what? Security for what? Huh? Security for what? You know how I know who works here because they're in a the staff only yeah, section. That's right. you like You're not in a staff only you don't section. Work here to know who works here. So why would I waste that's my why time I'm, holding a that's radio why I'm and have a pin on? That's why I'm recording. Exactly. So exactly. I can see who You're just works here. Wasting here. people's time with some narrative of, that you have of your own. Did I force you to come but talk to me? You say, Am I forcing you to stand you here and talk to me? Did you staff members you were going to come and file a complaint on the first floor, but yet you Which I will. Every Which floor. I will. So you should. What is your point? What point are you making what right now? What purpose are you serving? What purpose is he serving, sir? Well, uh, he's apparently under the delusion that he's some sort of journalist, but uh, he sure as hell doesn't have the ethics of one. I mean, a journalist doesn't go out and create the story. They go out and report it. And, uh, well, in this particular case, you got this dumbass right here who just wants to cause chaos and everything like that just to make a buck on YouTube. And that's all he's good for. And that's all he'll ever be good for. My purpose. Okay. An imaginary purpose. Okay. Have a good day. You literally came up to me to tell me nothing. You can't, what did you what did you come up to me to tell me? And you are a threat here right now. How? My camera is a threat? Why you're here? What purpose are you serving here recording staff members in the building? I'm working on a story. Okay, you're working on a story mm -hmm. so you refuse to contact library officials. So why would I do that? To do that? Why would I do that? Because That's one way to do okay, it. Okay, okay, but I don't know what you're here for. That's one way to All do right, it. But if we call the NYPD, what are you going to say to them? That I mean what can I say? Yeah, I wonder what you're going to say. What law is being broken? To public building, I have a right to be here. I have a right to be here. Why don't you read the Constitution? There's nothing to do with Constitution. 
Constitution. Of course it does. Of course it does. This is an the Constitution. That has rules and policies here. The Constitution is the yeah, highest law of the land. PD because we don't know what you're serving. I just told you. Uh, Davy boy, uh, let me ask you something. If you say it's the highest law of the land, why does it contradict itself by uh, giving the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution? Huh, quite the little contradiction right there, uh, Davy boy. Do you have any way to explain that away? Uh, probably not, because you're too damn ignorant to know what it actually says. But at any rate, let's just go ahead and skip to when the cops show up and get this shit show over with. Many, many minutes later. Hey, how's it going? Um, listen, so their policy is you can't record in here. You're NYP now? You're NYPD yeah. now? Always been. Listen, no. Um, you have to leave because oh, you're not I know allowed you. to record in here. You want to read their policies? Their policies that you cannot record in here. The and first line. Their staff is asking us to remove you, you and they... I don't remember you. I don't know. I remember you. Oh, that's nice. I hope you like me. Um, time to go. All right? Why well, would I need to leave? I have a right to be here, and I'm conducting no, business. No, you're not conducting business. And the I thing am. is that you have to go through... Read uh, the policy. The right there. I'm he handing it to you. Told me. Who he is he? The security guard. The head security guard said that you need to leave, and they have a right to kick you out. Photography and photocopying policy, right? I'm going to read it to you because if you violate my rights, you, you can't say sir, it. Sir, you didn't know. That's our job. No negotiation. I don't, it's yeah. no so you could, just, you could just ask anybody to leave a public building they want you just to because. Yes. They want you. They what if I was... They said every staff member on every single floor that you're recording them and you're being a nuisance. Oh, you want them to read the policy. Well, uh, let's take a look at this right here. It says, well, it's okay for a uh, personal use. But this is not personal use to begin with. Uh, Davy Boy, because you are going to post it on the internet, or you already did post it the inner to the internet. And looky what it says right here. It says they reserve the right to restrict the uh, filming as necessary, as it may become a disruption to everybody else. And guess what? You were disrupting everybody else. So why don't you make like a tree and leave? Because this policy is not exactly helpful toward you right now, dude. In fact, yeah, you are an idiot. And you're not allowed to do that inside How the How am I being a nuisance? You have to leave. How am I being a you nuisance? You are recording them and you are not allowed to do that inside So photography yes is no? a nuisance? Sir? Can I speak to your supervisor, please? You can't, they can't record here, right? You're willing to... Nope. All right. Read this. Handheld cameras are permitted. Listen. First line. Handheld leave. cameras are permitted. This is their rules. You have to. Well, now, looky what we've got here. We've got a cherry-picking, uh, frauditor asshole. Why don't you try reading the entire policy? I mean, it was on that entire paragraph that uh, was on that paper right there, but just like Poster 7, you frauditors refuse to show it in its entirety. So I'm glad you at least showed it to the camera so we could all zoom in on it and see what it really said. Thank you very much, dumbass. To Why? Why? Because you are not allowed. What crime am I committing? You are not part of any media. You do not have prior permission to record in here. You now have to leave. I so do you have permission. Step out civilly, I want to speak to your supervisor. No problem. He's going to tell Call you him. the same thing. No, he's I'm not. Tell you. He's going to honor his, his, his oath to the Constitution. Make this is I don't want to deal with you because you're I already got you on camera Go ahead. cursing me out so I don't want to deal with you ones. I don't want to deal with you I'd rather no deal with somebody that I never had contact with because right you now it seems like retaliation time. you didn't you investigate at all you didn't do no investigation hey, you just went off for of his word right oh that's a nice little persecution complex right there it's a shame that's not going to work out for you in this particular scenario so let's just go ahead and get to the supervisor so he can uh well be trespassed out of the building and we all can laugh at this uh total moron he's saying he's violating his rights that we're violating his rights because he's breaking their policy that says no photographs of the staffs, other researchers, or certain okay. readings may be taken. And he's saying we're violating his constitutional right that um he's allowed to report in here and their policy doesn't matter. And he requested you to you violating his rights. All right. Well, this is what I said. I said you can't put their library policy over the law. I'm not breaking the law, which means I have a right to be here. It's a public building. Okay. My yeah. taxes fund this building. Do, do I not have a right to be here? Okay. The Representatives at the library doesn't want you at this location. Anymore. Why? Because I'm exercising my rights in public. I still have a. I still. I'm conducting business. 
in this right. building. And once I finished my business, I was going to leave. I know. They don't want you here anymore. I have to file a complaint. I have the right to address my government. I know, but you have to do that. You could, you could probably file a complaint outside, but you have to leave. They don't want you here. Am I breaking the law? Well, this fraudulent just is again showing his limited intelligence and lack of ability to uh, do any bit of research whatsoever. If you would actually study trespassing laws, you would see that you don't need to commit a crime to be trespassed. But given from what I've seen right here of your uh, uh, cherry picking, if it is cherry picking it, Oh, I do believe that you might have a reading deficiency, and that could be part of your problem here, is that you have such a reading deficit that you are in, unable to actually uh, look these things up. I mean, it's okay if you're illiterate or have deficiency in the ability to read altogether. But, I mean, that can be corrected with a lot of practice, so you need to go into the library and read some actual books, dude. Nobody asked me to leave. You guys are the first person that came up to me. You have to leave. So if I don't leave, I'm going to get arrested? Well, yeah. I need to hear you say that. If I don't leave this building, what's going to happen? They're going to prosecute you. You're going to arrest me? No, the New York City Public Library is going to prosecute you. Okay, so I have a reasonable amount of time to leave, don't I? Well, actually, now, can you please leave? Okay, I can't leave through that way. I got to leave through this way. Which way? That way? And I still need the information that I came here to get. Are you going to help me with that? Yeah, whatever you need outside. All right. I need all your cards. Yeah. And all of your names. So you're saying that you can just trespass people from public for, for no crime. They they don't no crime. No crime. It doesn't matter what they want. I'm they not breaking want. the law. You, you going to help me get I'll my information? So you're just going to violate my rights over a policy, right? That's fine. I'll be back. So I, am I trespassed from this location? Well, no, you have to leave. Am I trespass from this location? You won't be arrested if you leave. I'm asking you a question. Can I come back to this location? Am I trespass? I'll speak to them if they want you back. Well, you might as well go ahead and trespass him to make sure he doesn't come back because, well, he spent an hour or so in this library annoying people to no end. And, uh, well, that just shows that he doesn't have a job. Not one that's uh, consequential anyway, because once this YouTube frauding thing dies down in the next few years, uh, yeah, he won't have a job to speak of because he'll be un unemployable because of his criminal record that he's accumulated as a result of this bullshit. I'll ask you right now. It's a public building, right? It's New York City Public Library. Right, gotta New York rules. City Public Library. Correct. I have to follow the law. You still have to follow their rules. I, what, if they, what if they had a rule that said no black people? You want to enforce that? Listen. You can't put that over the law. You can't that's put that right. over the Constitution. They call Guess what? I do I not have a right to record in public what, buildings? Which information do you need, sir? I need to file a complaint. I need all of your cards. Okay. What's the complaint? So do you want to file a complaint? What's the complaint? Sure do. Okay, what's the complaint? New York City Public Library? Yep. And the Securitas, too. Okay. And I need all their names. My name is Lieutenant Fontaine. I need your card, please. All right, give my name right here. F-O-N? Okay. You want to write it down? No, I want your card. Okay. You, uh, I want to know who's violating my rights here today. You want to know who's violating your yeah. rights? Yeah. Okay. Because you don't put policy over the Constitution. I have a constitutional right to be called in public. Many okay. case laws have stated that. All Supreme right. Court has ruled that. Well, as far as the case law inside of a public library goes, I would have to say citation needed, please, because I know you have an inability to read and a... Well, marvelous ability to cherry pick anything that you think benefits you, even though you don't apparently don't really take the time to read it anyway. And then there was the straw man argument about, well, if they made a law saying no black people in the library, uh, dude, uh, that's what civil rights laws are for, you know. The very thing that you misunderstand every time you do one of these audits. Here you go. Am I trespassed from this building? Now you are. If you go back inside. Am I trespassed? I'm coming back tomorrow. Am I, how long? So how? I need a trespass. I need a trespass notice. I'll be back tomorrow. And I need your card. Dumbass bitch. Frauditor, I would really be careful of who you call a dumbass because you've established throughout this video that you have a, a supreme inability to comprehend what you read or you have a 
issue with cherry picking altogether. And then there's that ability where, well, inability to cite your sources. So, uh, who is the true dumbass here? It's certainly not that officer. It is most certainly you. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?